this is Angie for Happy Healthy Vegan and I'm back with another Thrive Box unboxing and recipe demo. Sorry if it's a little loud during this demo. I've got the windows open because it's summer and also because it's summer I'm craving lighter foods and I had a hankering for a Vietnamese style spring rolls the other day but I could not find the uh, rice paper at any of my local markets so I checked on Thrive and lo and behold they had them so that's what inspired me to order my latest Thrive box so let's see what's in here um, one of the things I've been wanting to check out on their market are these organic dried mangoes also I've been craving some chocolate granola I found these guys have the cheapest price on preserved razor blades so I'll talk to you while I mess with these mangoes um, so I haven't made uh, Vietnamese spring rolls in a while but um, even so I'm gonna try something different today I am going to try to do the the noodles in them like you get at the wow this is tough I forgot scissors like you get in the restaurant see Annie Chun's my food brown rice noodles I'm hoping this will do the trick whoa this smells so good oh my god that is so good. This is what I really needed. Vietnamese spring roll rice paper. These are critical. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And then what are Vietnamese spring rolls without the delicious peanut sauce? So I don't know if I've really ever made peanut sauce before. If I have, it's been a while. But so I thought I would try it two ways. First, with the Thrive brand peanut butter, I got chunky style. I know Ryan's been wanting some more peanut butter anyways, so you know he can have that for sandwiches. And then the uh, lower fat way with the PB2 powder. Um, this is 85% less uh, calories from fat than normal peanut butter, so I will try to do it two ways and see how that turns out. And to um, add to the peanut sauce, I'm checking out the sweet chili sauce from Sky Valley that is vegan approved. And what else did I get? Yes, the fried brown coconut nectar. And looks like I got one more thing in here. Oh, yes, to make the sauce. For the peanut sauce, you also need like a soy sauce, but I prefer um, organic tamari sauce, the low sodium kind. So this, along with some other fresh ingredients from my kitchen, and uh, I'm so excited. I'm actually already hungry and I haven't even started the demo yet. Yikes! Uh, demo I showed you guys they tabulate how much I have saved compared to the average price of these items and other stores and it feels good to see all the savings rack up um, also wanted to mention once again that uh, well first of all Thrive Market is a subscription based service so when you get a paid subscription uh, one is also given away to a family in need which is super cool um, but if you are not currently subscribed I do have a deal for you you can get a 30-day free trial plus 25% off your first order and free shipping. So that's awesome. But when you do decide to become a member, like I said, you'll be helping out a family in need. Um, the other thing I want to mention about Thrive that I really like about them is it's easy to shop on there. You can easily find out everything they have there that's vegan because there's a pull-down menu for the values that you're looking for. You can also add into that if you happen to be gluten-free, like I've noticed a lot of the people uh, watching my recent demo for the chocolate donuts. Uh, a lot of people enjoyed that because it was gluten-free. So you can add uh, um, additional things. You can, so you can be looking up vegan, gluten-free, then you can look up like ingredients, for instance. When you're looking at products on Thrive, it'll put little icons at the bottom so you'll know all of the different boxes that it ticks. So easy. Anyway, so check for the link in the uh, show notes down below um, to get this sweet deal. And I'll also have a deal for those of you that are already members, don't you worry. So as I was opening up the peanut butter to um, prep for the uh, the sauce, I noticed it says right on the label, Thrive Values, organic, non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan, kosher, no artificial ingredients, preservative-free, no artificial sugars or sweeteners. So anyways, this is everything I'm gonna be using. I've got, I know, normally I cut the vegetables up on screen with you guys, but I really kinda wanted to cut to the chase. So I've already, pre julienne my carrots, my cucumbers, and um, sliced my red bell pepper, sliced up some cabbage, um, I also have some little lettuce leaves, 
and some cilantro and basil. So that's all ready to go. Um, I guess the first thing I should do is make the sauce, and by the way, you'll need some lime for that as well, but uh, this is everything. Oh, and I realize also I'm going to be using the coconut nectar as part of the peanut sauce, so let's get into it. Just read the instructions on these noodles, first time working with them, so it says for salads or cold noodle dishes, which we're going to be making, uh, get the water boiling and cook them for one to two minutes. Drain, rinse with cold water, and serve. So I'm just gonna try half of the package. I think that's all I'll need. First I'll try to make the sauce with the PB2 powder. Um, I remember there was a kerfluffle a while back online. People are not trusting PB2 powder. Right here, certified GMO free. I think we're gonna need three tablespoons of the dry powder. I think I'm supposed to use half much in water. I want the sauce to be saucy so I guess I don't, I'll add a little extra water. Yeah, I want more water. You can see how this, if you use that minimum amount of water it will definitely make a thick peanut butter but since, since I'm making a sauce, look, this is looking really great. Full disclosure, I'm basically following the Minimalist Baker's uh, website. She's got a recipe so she's got the third a cup almond butter. I'm using the more traditional peanut butter. Might have added too much water to my PB2 powder. Epic fail. No worries. Told you I hadn't done this before. So like a peanut sauce, I mean it should be somewhat liquidy. You don't want it to be runny like I've got it. Now of course this might mean I want to add a little more of the other flavorings in, but so what are we up to now? We're up to five tablespoons. Oh, baby. Hope I remember. Yeah, so anyways, I I will have in the show notes down below everything I ended up using. Don't make the mistakes I did, kids. Oh, this is looking so much better now. I should have been whisking the whole time. I'll try it with the real peanut butter and see how that works out. I got the crunchy so I can have little bits of peanut in the sauce. Oh, this is gonna be like so much thicker. So much oilier. I bet you Ryan's gonna prefer this one. Okay, so here we go. It's getting real. Wow, I feel like this is like Goldilocks. So this minimalist baker mentions you'll need hot water to thin it. My first batch made was way too thin. Where is the one that's just right? Yikes, so in all, I think this would be a lot easier to work with for a sauce than the full fat regular peanut butter. Plus, you have the benefit of it being low fat. Thin this out. The basic premise is that you take your wrapper and you dip it quickly into the water. This was pretty hot, I don't want to burn my hand. And then we're going to be putting each of these little vegetables and stuff into here and rolling it up, dipping it in. So these get sticky and gelatinous. You don't want to leave it in too long. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll probably make half with the noodles and half without just because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. All right, already I'm thinking I got this too wet. No? Okay. All right, carrot, cucumber. I'm putting in cilantro and basil that you could put mint, but Ryan does not like mint. So I'm not gonna put him through that. And uh, he actually doesn't like red bell pepper either, but some things he's not gonna be able to get around today. Let's see. All right, let's see if I can even roll up my first one here. Okay, I put in too much stuff so it's kind of hard. You're supposed to fold in the edge and then keep rolling. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to call this Angie's Epic Fail. Now here we go. 
It's not beautiful. But there. And there you go. These are probably some of the wonkiest Vietnamese spring rolls you've ever seen, but even though they're not pretty, I have a feeling that Ryan will probably like them anyway. They look so good. I had no idea they're gonna look so amazing. I told you he wasn't mm -hmm. gonna think they looked wonky. I've actually got two sauces for you to try. This okay. is the first one. All right. I will try a bite of approval here. Mm -hmm. These look so good. Yeah. That one's kind of falling apart a little bit. Let me try. Oh. grab this one. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh oh. <laughs> Not awkward at all. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Yeah? That tastes so good. Yeah? Mmm. Like that peanut sauce? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. All right. So Love hold it. on to your roll. Okay. And here's sauce number two. All right. Sauce number two. Sauce number two. Mmm. <laughs> Mm, it has a nice rich thing going on. Really tasty too. All right, cool. Mm. Well, I'll say that this one is the full fat peanut butter. Oh. This is the Thrive peanut butter. This is the PB2 powder, which is a defatted peanut butter powder, which is 85% less fat mm. than this guy. The, the low fat one seems more like going to a Vietnamese restaurant. Oh, really? More old school, legit. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. Well, this is definitely the sauce that I think I preferred. But, uh, you know, you can go either way. They're both great. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed watching me struggle to make Vietnamese spring rolls. That they may not be beautiful, but probably the next time I make them, I'll be, you know, a little more experienced and they'll come out Instagram ready. Uh, the fact is they taste good though. So anyway, I would definitely make this again. So I hope you got something out of this video. Um, leave your questions and comments down below. What vegetables and herbs and such do you like to put in your spring rolls? This is just one way to make them. There's a lot of different things that you could put inside here. Um, I want to thank Thrive once again for making this great offer for our viewers. Um, as I mentioned at the top of the video, if you are not currently a member of Thrive Market, you can get a 30-day free trial plus 25% off your first order and free shipping uh, by following the link in the show notes down below. Um, we also have a page for Thrive Market over at our website, uh, happyhealthyvegan.org. So just check the faves pull down for that. If you are currently a member, you have not been left out, they will offer you a free jar of their own Thrive brand GMO free almond butter. So I guess you could make this sauce with the almond butter the way that they do on Minimalist Baker. And let me know how that turns out in the comments down below. I uh, like this video if you're into it, share it with a friend that's looking for some great summertime recipes. And I guess that's about it. Until next time, keep it carved, baby. Keep it carved. Just Someone's thriving in the Thrive Box. Jojo loves these things. They're like a little nest with the paper. It's his favorite. Uh-oh, looks like his brother's jealous. What you gonna do, Bobo? You gonna join him?